mold is everywhere. So 100% removal is honestly not possible. That would be sterilizing an entire house. Like if you're going under surgery, then I think you should hope that the scalpel is sterilized. But if you have a home and there is mold, you're not going to sterilize the entire environment. It's not cost effective. It's really not even um, necessary. Now, that does not mean that we shouldn't remove mold and mold contaminants. You do need to physically remove it. You can't just spray it. You can't just paint it. You can't just give it a landlord special and say that we succeeded in remediating this problem. So if we're not removing 100%, but we're not covering the problem, then where are we in the middle? And that is an excellent question because it's completely, not completely, but it is subjective and it requires professional judgment. And that's something that requires um, knowledge of the individual situation, the structure, the goal of the remediation, because if a high risk occupant is involved, then you may well have a more stringent clearance requirement. So it's really an interesting point that you bring, but just because we're not going to sterilize an entire home and remove 100% of all of the spores all the way down to you know, two micron size or smaller, it doesn't mean that we should just give up and not try to physically remove it. So where do we draw that line in the sand? Well, you need a professional.